He has a shitload of HP, which is something. Shitload of HP. Huh. Got it. 500 GP. Great. Just great points. Great party. It's a really great party, guys. So last night I almost burned down the apartment. Oh, why did you do that? <laughs> it's for a change of pace. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> anyway, what happened? Did you hear our, our smoke alarm going off? Yes, I think we did. We just weren't sure what was happening. Yeah. I was trying to... Well, I, d I successfully made feta stuffed lamb burgers, which were delicious, but... Oh, wow. Well. Um, I, we don't have a grill, because we're in an apartment, of course. And right. I had to do them in the oven on, on the broiler. Mm hmm And I think it, they were... The, it was... I put it too high. The rack too high. Mm. And so they had a little bit of a grease fire in the oven. Oh, damn. Which is, you know, a little bit scary. That is a little bit scary. But, you know, we reacted appropriately. Shoved it back in the oven, turned the oven off, and cut off the oxygen to it. And then I did it. Oh, good, good, good. But it was pretty smoky in here for a while. And yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's the worst. I hate when that happens. Although we did discover that if you, we just like close these doors to the hallway where the smoke alarm is, yeah. you can just like, it just doesn't know that there's smoke. So. That's what we always do too, if mm -hmm. that happens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got Bursk. Burskirk. Yeah, adventures in cooking. But yeah. despite the grease fire, the burgers actually came out perfect. <laughs> like, oh, that's awesome. Perfectly cooked, no problem. Well, that's that's way nicer than having smoke and burnt food or something. Yeah, like it would be really disappointing if it ruined the food as well. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Feta stuffed lamb burgers um, with uh, shaved cucumber and a rosemary wow. yogurt. Fancy. Yeah. And the burgers were made with red wine and rosemary in the mix. Oh my lord. Yeah. Going out here. Sometimes when I cook, I usually try to put a good amount of effort in. Nice. So that is not something that I typically do. Is there one down below? Nope. What, is, wait, what was even in there? It was life. Uh, oh. Great. Yeah. Um, oh, should I be kicking with Yang when we're in these party fights? It makes sense. It could be More a good people. idea. Yeah. I suppose it couldn't hurt. I like it. Hey, I'm Mike. Hey, it's just me, yourself. So, a simple paradigm. It was actually a very Greek meal. I also made a arugula salad. Oh wow! With red wine vinegar and olive oil. Damn. And Kalamata olives and red Dang. onion and feta cheese in there. So as thematic. Well. I, I didn't know you were such a chef. I'm not really. Well, you have the chef potential. I put effort meals in for Tracy sometimes. Nice. It's kind of like when I make my chili. Yeah. Although I haven't made chili since I moved in here, so one of these days you're going to smell. A chili. a chili quest happening when I go into the chili quest. forge. <laughs> the chili, you do some chili smithing? Yeah. For sure. I'm totally into it. Oh, that that um, crocodile there? Mm -hmm. Very resistant to flames. I've seen that. It's, well, I mean, to be fair, he's also kind of resistant to the ice rods. And, you know, he just is, he's got a tough outer hide. The elements don't harm him. Yeah. You know how that goes? Oh, uh, actually, the ice rod is just pretty good there. Maybe having the flame rod kind of sucks. Maybe I should have just two of each so that I can switch them around oh. as needed. That would probably be a smart thing. Interesting. Tactical decision making. What? There are a lot of fish in this waterway, right? Yeah. These fights kind of take a while. Yeah. Super Not wild about the, ice the rod waterway. 22. What? The name. Elect I, fish. I don't know. The should, name of what? You should elect the fish. I don't know. Elect heal him. him, right? What? It would probably heal him. No, I mean, like, you should elect him to office. Oh, I see. You should vote for him. Well, um, yeah. Oh, I found out at work that basically all of my coworkers are big Trump supporters, which is like oh the craziest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. So it's always weird when I encounter actual humans who are Republicans. Yeah, we we our branch got audited, 
and it came it somehow my manager made, made it come up in conversation and the auditor was like a big Trump supporter and so was my manager and I was like oh like I don't understand what about Trump is appealing uh because he tells it like it is does, does he like, I think that's that, that is what people feel is the appeal. So he says the things that no one's really willing to say, but someone has to. Okay. I, I eat makes, racist shit. This makes me fucking tired. <laughs> oh no. Oh, so you know, you're a damage. Yeah. So that was a disappointing revelation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> and then also at the same in, in like the same week. We were talking about, so, you know, we do car financing, we were talking about Subarus, right. and, like, they were saying how, like, you know, they're really great cars, but, you know, and I was like, what? <laughs> you know, it's just so liberal to have a Subaru, and like, what are you, Wait, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> what does like, that mean? And, and then they, okay. they literally said, we need to find a way to republicanize it, and I was like, oh my god. That's the state of contemporary <laughs> politics. Yeah. You're getting the deep, deep, incisive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Political ridiculous. commentary there. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Republicanize it. I don't know. I guess super. Just slap a Ben Carson a... bumper sticker on it or yeah. something. <laughs> Did you see the picture my mom posted? No. Of that Ben Carson sticker that was already peeling off. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That I was really that. funny to me. Oh my lord! It makes me fear for the future. Mm. Yeah. It's probably wise to fear for the future. Yeah. Probably. Oh. Then we're gonna have to climb out our deals, become paladins, sneak our way back into the How United I... Kingdom States castle through the town. Someone said that there's a way to sort magic. Oh, what if you go to the magic list? There's a magic button. Is that where you were going? Yeah, this is this is the magic spot. Oh, so really? select goes back from the Maybe... Because Tell's magic is, like, whacked out right now. Wait, what if you go... Uh -huh. Wait, if you click one? Oh, I can't just... I oh, you have to do it manually. That sucks. Or, that might be a good off-screen deal. Yeah. I just want to fix those. Yeah, yeah. Just so I can have oh, here's Cure 4, too. Yeah. yeah, I don't think anyone has nearly enough HP to make that worthwhile. Well, this is strong. <laughs> I remembered all my spells! All my good ones. <laughs> I don't know, it's just been a long day. <laughs> nice. Right. Same telescene. So is that the way out? Probably. I don't know, mm. I'm gonna get this chest. Seems like it. Oh, oh, my, oh god. my god, these fights. Look, an alligator and a crocodile. Oh, wow. At long last, they meet. <laughs> don't let them touch. <laughs> but they will become more powerful than else <laughs> it'll be a reaction in the universe itself will unravel I love the animation for kick it's really cool it's fun I'm still a little bit I'm, I'm a little bit reeling from the Republican office <laughs> yeah it's a common thing in the finance industry that doesn't surprise me yeah <laughs> Republicanize them Subarus. You gotta republicanize these crocodiles. You gotta make them a little bit more. Just apply a quick flat tax to those crocodiles. <laughs> and maybe, um. Apply a quick flat tax. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically I always. That, that's what I assume the go to Republican No, no, the go to is no tax. Oh. It's well. not even about fairness, it's just about I don't want to pay taxes. Oh, well, that's fair. I want to enjoy all the benefits of taxation without <laughs> paying any of the prices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah. It was uh I don't have disheartening. And it's like I don't I don't feel like I am that hard of a person to figure out. So like they must know that like I could not possibly agree with them less. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I drive a Hyundai Sonata, which are cars really an indicator of your political... Uh, apparently, apparently, apparently. So wait, what the, I'm what's the deal with the Subaru, though, exactly? Like, what's a, what's a Republican car? It, like an American car? Like a Jeep. 
a Jeep or like a like Ford? Like a Chevy Ford, yeah. Uh, okay, but not not any of those foreigner cars. Is that kind of it? I don't even think that's really it. I think just Subarus, like from their commercials and just from the general demographics of people who drive them, do tend to be liberals. That is like, that's, that's you know, ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know. So, like, there's a little bit of truth to it, but, like, the fact that you're making a car buying decision based on that is, like, insane. <laughs> like, it's the craziest fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> the world makes me want to go to sleep. The world makes me want to go to sleep. Yep. That's a probably appropriate reaction. Right. Right. Oh. I don't know. I just yeah. see, I see, I see a lot of stupid shit at work all the time. Like, regale me. You know, so people want to own luxury cars, right? It's like a thing that people want to achieve. It's like a, a okay. thing in their life that they want to have. Okay. But like, if you make twelve dollars an hour, and the only luxury car you can afford is one from like 2003 mm -hmm. like you're not really proving anything to anyone by having the status symbol because what it means is that it's just going to get broken and then you can't afford to fix it because mm -hmm. it's like a you know Mercedes or something and repairs are expensive like That's I don't so know people strange. just make really stupid decisions all the time huh. when it comes to cars and it just blows my mind constantly like Interesting. I don't know I want an expedition well why do you need a vehicle that large what are you hauling do you have a lot of kids no i just want something big and it's like dude that is not a good reason to own something like that like something enormous that has terrible gas mileage that you're not gonna be able to afford to fill the tank that's the astonishing because you make you know an hourly wage that is like horrendous <laughs> like, and you have terrible credit because you're coming to us in the first place like i don't know it's just well, it's just bonkers i didn't know the car world was so complicated it is. And people just have weird ego complexes. What is, what is this? You're stuck in the dark. I'm not actually stuck. I just don't understand the point of going down there at all. Uh, maybe like down can here go to the right. left is just empty. Yeah. Let's go up here. Oh. There you go. Oh no, it's the aqua worm! <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna find out. Oh, these are piranhas. Never mind. I was gonna say we're gonna Oh find no! Holy Watch shit. out for the aqua worm! <laughs> I will. I will watch out for the aqua worm. Okay, watch out. <laughs> yeah, but people just feel entitled to cars that don't make sense for where they are in life. Hmm. Like, if you. If you want a luxury car, like, work on your career and get to the point where that's an option that makes sense for you. Like, mm -hmm. if it doesn't make sense for me to own it and I make more money than you, then, like, there's something wrong with what's happening here. Huh. I don't know. Just, I never thought of it. Yeah. So, like, you'll see you'll see me. people out there with, like, BMWs or whatever, okay. but they look young and they might be working somewhere that doesn't really line up. Uh... It's probably really old. It's probably really old, that car that they're driving. Gotcha. Interesting. And they could probably barely afford it. That's so strange. Yeah. And half the time, we go pick them up anyway. <laughs> we just repossess them because we didn't make the payments on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, people... Oh, man. People love to use the excuse of, like, when they're not making payments, like, well, it's in the shop. It's like, so you're paying to have it repaired rather than to keep it? Because we'll just go get it from the shop. Now we know where it is. Like, I don't think you really thought this through. <laughs> wow. Yeah. We've been having a, a rash of repos. Oh, damn. Yeah. Because our manager has been buying junk. Bad deals. People who are bad credit risks. Oh, okay. And then they have to go get them. Gotta go get them cars when they don't make their payments. Like, people who are not paying in the first like six months of their loan and stuff like that. It's just really bad. Mm. Really bad for us as a company. <sighs> Sounds like a wild world. Yeah. It's, it's bizarre. 
Does like your group do the actual repos, or do you have? Like, we have a person in our office who's in charge of collections, and she wow. manages the repo process. Huh. But like we all talk about it because we all do a little bit of collections. So. Oh, okay. So you get to know the problem customers, and I mean, you get calls on them and stuff from repo agents or from corporate or whatever. Huh. Just gotta deal with them. And people have been wrecking their cars, and it's only going to get worse. Because once oh, it gets a little winter. bit icy, yeah, yeah. it's going to be really tough. Oh, that's so scary. And I just have to deal with it. I have to deal with total losses. That's part of my job, is huh. when people total their cars and helping them close out their accounts and getting wow. us paid from the insurance and stuff like that. Ugh. That's a whole thing. That sounds horrible. I deal with insurance a lot, every day. That also sounds horrible. It's not the best, but it's fine. It's really not that bad, because, like, once an insurance company knows you're a lien holder, they take off the kid gloves and treat you like an actual adult, and so they just, like, ask you straight questions, mm. and you give them straight answers, and it's not like a... Oh, that's nice. They don't feel like they have to be nice-nice, which is, like, honestly just good. It means that the conversation goes faster. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a whole thing. Yeah. Work! It's my thing. It's what I do. It's your thing. busy this time of year? It's actually been insanely slow, which has been good because I've been able to catch up on some of the work that has gone undone in my training time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've got a lot of catch up to do right now. And we were, you know, prepping for the audit, which was oh, kind yeah. of intense. We were trying to make sure that we were oh, definitely going to pass it. It's the Booty Too Fruity. Booty Too Fruity and Blue Flames just set in the walls. That will be... Oh Whoa, my goodness! What is that? I don't even. It's a it's a hydra, I guess. Um, I see a couple of snakes. Yeah, it does look just like a mess of snakes. It's like <laughs> a, a literal two, mess a two, of snakes. A two-headed hydra is just not really what you expect. The snakes are all tangled up. Untangle the snakes. I'm gonna try. Uh, uh, I'm kind of running low on MP. I need to hit like a save spot here somewhere. I know. I don't know how deep this place goes. Seems like a really terrible way to get into Baron. Like it feels like it would have just been entered easier to walk in the front and just yeah. fight the soldiers. <laughs> just climb over the walls, dig a hole, something. How is that worm I'm not even in the water, Ram? What is he doing? I don't know. It's really creepy looking. I hate its distended face. <laughs> oh. oh, they are resistant to lightning. What are worms gonna be weak to? Blades. Blades. Slice them up. Kicks. Oh yeah. I forgot that you could do that. Do what? Uh, do you see Cecil auto cover for Palo? I guess because in yellow HP. Is that mm -hmm. the deal? I think so. Okay. That's like one of his passive abilities, I guess. I thought that's what covered it too, but I wasn't really sure. I guess cover would probably make sense if he takes all the next like few attacks until his next turn or something, but doesn't actually do anything else. Oh, interesting. If I had to guess. That makes sense. I don't remember if fire did good or not. Well, ice mm. is definitely not it. <laughs> Zaka worms. Tough little buggers. Tough little... Tough, tough worms. Just a couple of tough worms. I like the way the flame um, highlights the whole sprite there. Yeah. Very lovely. It's like shading, sort of. Yeah. Shaders before there were shaders. Oh my goodness, you're right. No. God. It's just kind of resistant to everything. I guess I should start by smacking them instead of... You could, like, peep it or whatever. What does peep do? I thought it, like, tells you what their weaknesses are. Oh, really? I thought so. Or, like, sight or something. Oh, either. Yes. I thought there was something like that. Anyway. It's, like, one of those spells. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. It's, like, Libra. Kind of. Okay. I'm also kind of surprised that we already have an elixir, which is like one of the most powerful ideas. I know. In these games, usually. There it is, though. I'm, I'm excited. I want to see where this goes. Because <sighs> I, I think I know where this fight is. Go oh, oh, hey, look, a guard! They showed up. Just a random guard down here. This is the first time we've seen a guard, right? Uh, uh down here. I mean, down here, yeah. Yeah. 
they, they really stick out down here in their bright blue and gold uniforms. Surrounded by these giant aquatic monsters. Uh, further credence to the theory that wasn't really a theory, more just a reality. That, uh, the truth. That Baron is summoning all of his Hellspawn. Oh, uh, Final Fantasy 2. Yeah. Baron is just an evil, evil kingdom. I'm surprised Cecil worked for him as long as he did. Yeah, I know. What do you suppose they had them doing before they started trying to collect all the crystals and basically kill everybody? That's a really good question, because it doesn't really... I don't know. Because that you would say that's the reason. It doesn't look like any of these other towns have standing militaries. That's the... You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Maybe some of them do. We just haven't seen them yet. But I don't know why you would need the Red Wings. Well, yeah. maybe, maybe they weren't primarily military. That's the thing is that it's not like there's a... It's not like there's a, you know, great military power along with... Maybe there, there was, though. You think so? I don't know. It's weird, yeah, we don't really get any history. Yeah. <laughs> Tiny part. Let's fix that real quick. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, you've got 11 stuff. ethers, though. Yeah. I've been finding it in a lot of the dungeons. That's nice, actually, because they're kind of expensive, right? Ah, uh, they're like super expensive. I think they're like 10 grand. Oh, it's B1 fruit. B1. Oh, we're going up. Yeah. You went like, oh, uh, you went... Yeah. Oh, okay, great. Yay. Whew. Thank goodness. Tint it up. I love these mystic circles that you can sleep in. Yeah. Like, I guess the, it's like a circle of warding against enemies and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of cool. So there's a thematic thing mm -hmm. here. Lovely. Okay. I also wonder if it's keeping the blue flames. Maybe they're ever, blo ever, ever blowing. <laughs> you know, the ever blowing flames. <laughs> Now we have MP back, so it's not be as conservative. Ah. Excuse me, everyone. I don't know if they can let that go. Yeah, I can barely let it go. <laughs> I know you've changed, but I'll have to forgive you. That's what everyone said. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's funny, there's like, with this game, there's big, long, like, cutscene-y, dialogue-y moments, and there's, like, big, yeah. long, dungeon crawling moments. Yeah. I don't... Th uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. I don't know. I feel like just this dungeon in particular, the fights have kind of taken a long time. There's not really anything interesting happening in this one. It's it's like a pure obstacle yeah. to further narrative, which I think is part of the difficulty that the rest of the series sets up for itself. What's that? I mean, like... Part of what's interesting about it is the is the story components. Um, but at this point, like I think this dungeon's the, a good example because it's it's not really interesting. It's just you have to go through rote battles over and over and over again purely to get to the next story moment. Mm. Like I, you know what I mean? Unlike Mount Ordeals, which actually had a goal and and then like it was interspersed with story elements. And Mount Ordeal didn't feel. As long. I don't think I it was. Like these... Maybe these fights are just taking longer. Yeah. I don't know. So it's in this kind of situation I could understand why people would be upset about the lack of job system not allowing you to have any input into the... Yeah, try to find the ultimate strategy. Right, because otherwise it's just you don't really have a choice and you just have to like force it. These worms just have a shitload of HP. That's kind of what I've realized. Yeah. They're really big though. I mean, My melee attackers have only been fighting them for the entire fight and everything else is dead. They're resistant to basically every spell. Hmm. There. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yay! Yay! Yang. Bubbles! Yang! Okay! Let's get out of here! Yeah! Something happened! Ooh. Yay! Oh, hey! There's that beautiful flowing water, right? Look at how good that looks. Oh, I see. We're like on, on the outside, huh? Mm hmm. I was having a hard time parsing <laughs> what was the happening at first. It was just like a huge gray expanse. Oh, nice! Uh, Convenient little entrance here. 
Do you think there's anything else around the outside? Mm. I don't know. Mm. If I go the other way. Uh, I gotta find out. Okay, I gotta, I gotta know. know. I, I gotta just know. gotta know. No problem. I can't live without knowing. I think that makes sense. That's what, I'm what if there's a sweet treasure? What, what if there is a sweet treasure? Elixir or ether or something over here. We would kick ourselves forevermore. Yeah. Watch it, it's just like hidden beneath the water in a random tile. Oh my lord, I wouldn't put it past the game, right? Yeah. They've already done stuff where they hide stuff. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. That's nothing. Okay. Completely empty. Well, that was a waste of time. That's okay, we got to see it take a nice scenic tour of the castle exterior. Yeah. You get to see the beautiful Your former stonework. home. You know. Masonry. Yeah, it has a pretty... It's, it's a pretty impenetrable castle here. Moat, arrow slots, and, sea, and like towers all over it. I feel like it's an unusual castle design. It just have walls and yeah. individual cylindrical towers and stuff. This is really strange. You can go up to your room and rest. I can go into the dungeon and bust out my pals, maybe? Well, no, except they're not here! I guess I have no pals here. I guess it's just Rosa, right? Mm, yeah. Or Rydia. Creepily, though, the, the folks that they captured Wait, from Basidia. Who did they kill? Okay. Isn't one of the two dead, Rosa? No, Rydia got swallowed by Leviathan. Okay. And Rosa's being held captive. Rosa's being held captive. 